let's uh, let's use um, uh, that. Really, let's dynamically render images um, uh, based on the data model that we have for the widgets. Right, we're iterating over all the widgets. So what we, what we would want here is an an IMG uh, element that would dynamically render uh, the the um, uh, those those images. Right, right now the data model that we have uh, is as follows. Right, we have uh, we have a couple images here. We have this one. Um, oh, I guess just that one. Uh, and right now it has a URL that is pointing to this this URL right here. If we load that, uh, in, uh, we see that indeed uh, there is an image associated that would not let me log in. Uh, disable. Try that again. Yes. No. Uh, there it is. Uh, so it's using um, it's using a, a random image generator, right, of a particular size, uh, that we're then uh, displaying. It's it's, it's lotem lotem pixel instead of lotem ipsum lotem pix pixel. It just generates random uh, images. You can you can give it some parameters, the size that you want. Uh, if if you want people, if you want uh, certain types of objects, different colors, black and white, things like that, right. Uh, so, so I'm dynamically going to generate these these images. So, so uh, here it is. Uh, I'm I'm doing IMG. I'm going to use SRC. SRC is going to dynamically. We want we want this this uh, source for the image is going to be grabbed dynamically from the uh, from the source from the uh, URL attribute of the widget as we iterate. Yes. All right. So this will be uh, the widget dot URL uh, attribute. And the size that we're going to go, go with is that the width is going to be 100%. So it's going to stretch it um, as, as wide as it'll go. All right? Uh, so let's try it. Let's uh, render our, our template, our um, widget list. There it is. So notice that it, it renders. But notice that it gave you an error. See that? There's this error. Uh, if we look at it, it says that it tried to load uh, this image, localhost assignment a widget URL, widget URL. And, and, and the reason is that the browser looked at this HTML first before Angular got to it, right? And, and interpret this, this SRC, this source, as a bogus URL. It said, I don't know that URL. I can't, there's nothing there. There's nothing mapped to that URL. And that's because the, what the browser does is that it parses the HTML. If it finds an image, uh, even though it's not ready to render the entire page, uh, since images are, are heavy, right, it starts uh, downloading them right, at the same time that it tries to render the page. Okay? Uh, so, so what happens is that the JavaScript hasn't had time yet to replace this, right, to, 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 to replace this placeholder with the actual URL. Okay? Eventually it got to it. Right? If, you, if, you look at the, if you inspect this, Notice that indeed it replaced the uh, the curly brackets and replaced them with an actual URL. See that? But it did this after the browser had already complained that that URL was bogus. Make sense? Right. Uh, so so to fix this, what we could do is that instead of providing uh, uh, if, instead of using the native instead of using the native source attribute, we can replace it with ng source. Right. What this says is, hey browser. I don't want you to complain about this, right? So I'm not even going to give you the SRC for you to even look at it, right? So, so the so the browser, what the browser sees is this: is an IMG that has no is no source. It doesn't complain. This is, you must have, you must have forgotten to give me the source, right? But because of the uh, the ng source is there, what's going to happen is that. The browser is not going to complain because ng source is a an, a, is an is an attribute that it doesn't understand, so it's going to ignore it. Yes, uh, but instead, Angular is going to come back later, right? When it's ready to render this, it's going to come back later and it's going to add the src dynamically, the src attribute there afterwards, right? And then the and then the, the then the image gets uh, gets rendered, right? Notice that. Notice that we have the SRC. See that this is the original ng SRC uh, for the, for Angular, and then it dynamically added the SRC attribute for the to the element to then download the image and render it. That makes sense. Right? It's so that we are not we don't have those ugly errors on the console. 
All right? All right. All right, so uh, we, we're done with, uh, with images. Let's move on to HTML and YouTube. All right, let's do that.